There are several styles when it comes to interior design and learning about each and every single one of them will help you decide which style suits your personality and which one completely fits into your space. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing five styles. guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Fazati Ali and I'm an interior designer who's always giving the best tips on how to make your space look stunning I also do DIYs and give you guys affordable ideas on how to make your own home deco pieces I also paint so do feel free to hit the subscribe button below and join the family I upload videos every single week <laughs> or maybe not i've been a little busy guys i'm so sorry i haven't uploaded videos for the past two weeks but i promise you guys i'm going to improve on that for now i'll just push myself a little bit harder so that i make sure i am posting videos as often as possible so also make sure to hit that bell notification so that you can always be alerted every single time i post a new video guys thank you so much for your support i truly appreciate every single one of you and yeah let's not talk too much let's get right into the video where i'll be talking about five interior design styles and explaining all of them in detail so without further ado let's get right into the video Now the first interior design style I'm going to be talking about is transitional style and this style can simply be explained as a perfect combination of both traditional and contemporary. Just like the name suggests, transition. It's when you're trying to actually include the more modern feel into your space by going for contemporary pieces but at the same time you have one foot firmly planted in the traditional design. Now, if you have pieces that you've kept in your space over the years, they probably represent a more traditional style. They're probably a little bit more antique -ish, a little bit more rustic and all. Instead of getting rid of them just because you want to change your style or you probably want some modern pieces in your space, what you can simply do is bring in some contemporary pieces, mix them up like a pro to be able to create a cohesive look with both traditional and contemporary pieces. You can go ahead and keep your traditional elements while also updating your furniture, your fabrics, your finishes as design trends change over time. This style actually ends up providing a lot of character to a space. Transitional design is timeless, comfortable and looks completely effortless. Truth be told, mixing two opposing designs can be a bit challenging but as long as you have the right tips and the right guidance, you're definitely going to create a beautiful composition. A beautiful transitional space can be a combination of some of those architectural features we have in a space such as the crown moldings and the columns and pillars and so on. You can even have that traditional fireplace in the space and then you go ahead and bring in a contemporary art piece and contemporary furniture pieces in such a way that you'll actually achieve the transitional style. The next style I'm going to be talking about is Art Deco. This is a style of visual arts, architecture and design that first appeared in France and was quite popular in the 1920s and 1930s. Now if you're all about making a big statement in your home, this is probably the style for you. You want to go for bold geometric patterns with hard angles and a clear preference for symmetry in design. All in all, you also want to have a generous use of metals such as gold, steel, and a variety of expensive materials that will create a luxurious look. The major characteristics of this style include geometric and angular forms, initial materials, metals, and linear decoration. This particular style gives any space a bold and strong vibe. Materials such as stainless steel, mirrors, chrome finishes, glass, lacquer, inlaid wood and even unique skins like shark and zebra are common. You also need to incorporate expensive materials such as ebony, marble and rare wood finishes. To decorate your home in this distinctive style, go ahead and incorporate a couple of elements of this style to help you through the process. Now 
Now the next style I'm going to be discussing is Hollywood Glam, also known as Hollywood Regency. Now this style dates back to the 1930s, a time that was considered by many to be the golden age of Hollywood. Now when you think about Hollywood Glam style, you're definitely thinking about a style that completely embraces every aspect of luxuriousness and fabulousness from top to bottom. It is a mix of styles with touches of neoclassical, mid-century, art deco, boutique hotel, and so much more. Now to achieve this style, you want to bring in some rich fabrics, metallic details, and also go ahead and have some bold architectural features. Now with every single piece screaming a lot of glam and trying to make a statement, you want to make sure you're creating balance when mixing all these pieces together. Hollywood glam style radiates a lot of sophistication and confidence and looks completely stunning. You want to make sure you're keeping clean lines, going for a monochromatic and classic color scheme, keeping the space completely encluttered to achieve the style. Now remember to be bold and timeless when going for this style, right from your fabrics all the way to your walls and flooring. You want to have some Greek keys and patterns, geometrics, you can always add some animal prints and so on. Black and white checkered flooring would be a perfect addition to this particular space. Another very beautiful style I'll be discussing today is the Victorian interior design style, which is designed to actually represent a lot of opulence, luxuriousness, and romance. Now, this style was actually named after the reign of Queen Victoria. During this time, Britain experienced a lot of development of industry in the country and became rapidly richer, giving rise to a natural demand for luxurious apartments and quite expensive interiors. And this actually explains why this style is quite high-end. Victorian rooms are heavily decorated with rich furnishings, patterned wallpaper, colored tiles, pictorial tapestries, large house plans, and classic china. You'd also see a lot of architectural designs on the walls when it comes to the moldings. You'll see a lot of it on the arcs, on the doorways, on the windows. Everything appears to give quite a grand look. Victorian interiors were always a reflection of beauty as they were a demonstration of good manners and social etiquette. Some of the characteristics and features of this style include high quality and high cost of interior pieces, presence of old classical objects, the combination of interior elements of several styles such as the classic style, exotic such as Chinese and Indian, gothic and even rococo. There's also always a lot of sense of proportion when it comes to the interior details. A lot of times the furniture pieces will be of red brown color and light brown tones made in precious wood. We also definitely find a lot of flowers and plants and a presence of a rich library. Another very key feature when it comes to decorating Victorian style is the walls and you definitely want to either go for fabrics or wallpaper. At the same time, you have to ensure that they have patterns, stripes, realistic images of flowers, birds and animals and so on. So if you want a space that speaks volumes on luxuriousness and a lot of that classical vibe, you definitely want to go for Victorian style. After discussing a couple of high-end and quite luxurious styles, I'm going to be ending this video with a style that is a lot more calm, airy, and quite blissful. And this is the coastal interior design style, also sometimes called the Hampton. And also, sometimes it can also be called the beach look. This style is quite light and breezy with a palette that draws from sand, shells, as much as the seas and skies. So you're definitely going to have a color palette that is quite full of creams and whites, a little bit of browns from the sun, and also a lot of blues that is associated with the beach and the sky. This style is not only pretty but can be used to create quite a calming atmosphere. If you want to transform your space into a remarkably peaceful statement home, then this is probably the style for you.
you want to try to create the atmosphere of a beautiful seaside retreat through colors, your furniture pieces, neutral and vibrant hues, texture rich features such as driftwood to enhance the natural and arty aesthetic. When done in the right way, this particular style can easily make your home feel like a high end island getaway. You also want to incorporate some florals and botanicals, bring in some accent colors such as blue and turquoise, coral, and some vibrant pops of yellow. You can also explore dark accents such as navy and stone to add elegance and statement into your space. Also ensure to incorporate a lot of textures and patterns to create a beautiful and stunning coastal design. So those are the five interior design styles I was discussing today. I truly hope you got to learn something about each and every single one of them and will know how to incorporate them into your spaces. Now there are several other interior design styles. I have also done a video where I discussed 10 of the most common ones. So I'm going to link that video right up here and in the description below. So do check it out and try to figure out which style suits your personality. I'm also yet to cover other styles that I haven't yet talked about, so do stay tuned for those. Anyway guys, let me know in the comment section below which one of the five styles I discussed today is your favorite one. Apart from that, if there's any style that I haven't talked about yet and you'd love me to delve into it, also let me know in the comment section below. I promise I will make a video on it. Anyway guys, thank you so so much for watching. Feel free to like comment subscribe and share i'll be truly truly grateful anyway guys see you next week inshallah with another video love you guys so much bye bye